How's it going you guys? Jump Skills here. Today I'm going to be going over how to get invited to a High Mythic Plus key. Depending on what you consider a High Mythic Plus level, I'll give you guys tips and tricks on how to get invited to a High Mythic Plus key without being meta. For the sake of this video, let's just say start it from 20 and higher a High Mythic Plus key. So with that being said though, to get invited into these higher Mythic Plus keys, you should definitely play at night. Depending on what time zone you're in, Eastern, Western, Pacific, or even Europe or OCE, you should definitely play at night because usually the pug groups that are looking for these augmentations, shadow priests, fire mage, balanced druids, they usually go to bed during the night time because they don't need to wait up till night to play the game. So if you can play at night, especially 9 or 10 p.m. your time zone, you'll have a better chance of getting into a Mythic Plus key. Once I adapted into this new time zone frame, I began invited into Mythic Plus keys. And during the day, I really have a hard time getting invited into these Mythic Plus groups. I usually wait all day just to get invited just once and have the key bricked. Adding a tank or a healer from a Mythic Plus group definitely has its benefits because in the future you might be able to join their group in the future and they'll definitely remember you from their last Mythic Plus group and they're more than willing to bring you in than a pug. Running with your guildies definitely comes second to none when it comes to Mythic Plus. It feels good to have that 5 man stack and you can always rely upon them to run Mythic Plus. It just depends on how high of the level they want to push when it comes to Mythic Plus. There's some guildies that don't want to do that high of level. There's just some guildies that want to do their weekly vault. It just depends. But that would be the best situation. Running with your guildies is definitely the better option. So there are Discord channels out there that can help you with your Mythic Plus problems. So there's a recruiting Discord and then there's a Mythic Plus Friends Discord. If you don't know anything about them, I highly suggest you look them up on Google or wherever your search engine is. Look these two up and they have multiple people applying onto these Discord channels looking for people to run Mythic Pluses. Now, if you're in a Mythic Plus pug group and you guys time a key successfully, you should ask the group that if you guys want to keep pushing that key moving forward. Now, is a rare chance that they'll say yes. And there's a most likely chance they'll say no. They're probably going to save it for another group. But it does not hurt to ask. This usually affects just the beginning of Mythic Plus season. But if you have a good Mythic Plus score from the previous season, your invites will likely increase just based off your last season's Mythic Plus score. And I know that's usually at the start of Mythic Plus season. But there are some times where people have their higher mythic plus score from their previous season compared to now they usually get the benefit of the doubt and get invited don't whisper the leader for an invite do not do that it never works nine times out of ten it never works and usually means you're just gonna get declined or blacklisted it never works and i never seen it successfully done and you should never do that usually when you're signing up for a mythic plus group on the pre-made finders you only have five applications you can definitely save a lot of time if you avoid a certain server base. What I mean by that is there are certain servers that will not invite you if their life depended on it. You can have a higher Mythic Plus score and they'll still decline you. I'm telling you there are certain server bases that will not invite you if their life depended on it. I've been through it. I've seen it. And they will not invite you if your class sucks. Just from experience, just save yourself the trouble avoid certain server bases and if all fails and my advice does not work you should definitely do your own key what i usually do is on monday i usually do my own key because tuesday is reset day and i'm gonna lose my key anyways so if i'm gonna lose my key i usually wait till monday of that week and do keys and i create the group that i want and if it fails so what i'm gonna lose the key if the key does well, then I know that these players I can definitely add for future Mythic Plus groups in the future. But that's my advice and that's what I usually do is wait till Monday or my reset day, the day before reset day, and do my key. But I don't do my key any other day. I don't do it on Tuesday through Sunday. I do not do that at all. And finally, if you don't get invited to a Mythic Plus group, don't take it to heart. 
I've been on that side. I've applied to 464 Mythic Plus pug groups, and I only got invited six times to these groups. I know how it feels. Don't take it to heart. There's a lot of specs in this game, and there is a lot of classes in this game. And when it comes to Mythic Plus, only five people get invited. And usually these pug groups follow the meta players that these broadcasters usually put out there. And they follow it like blind the sheeps and not invite the player instead of the class slash spec. And it's just what it is. And in most cases, pug groups don't even time their key. They usually break the key and they're on to the next one. So you're usually saving yourself repair and time because the key that you didn't get invited to, 7 out of 10 times, they probably didn't time the key anyways. Personally, this is my belief. Since there's a lot of classes and a lot of specs in this game, Blizzard should add a six-man role into Mythic Plus, especially if they add a support role. I feel like it will balance out a little bit more because there's a lot more classes and specs trying to fit into a five-man Mythic Plus group, which is not realistic to me anymore. So with augmentation and evokers and devastation evokers just being in the game, I believe it's time to add a six-man Mythic Plus group, and that's just my personal opinion. But what do you guys think? Should Blizzard add a six-man role into the game, especially it being a support role? If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.